Hi friends, welcome to Hikers Happy Hour. Uh, we are here at Glacier National Park. We arrived last night and today we are hiking the Triple Divide Trail, which is about 15 miles round trip. So again, kind of like the Lost or uh, Heart Lake, a little longer on a day hike, but still beautiful nonetheless. Um, so we've only been in Glacier like less than a day, but this park is just spectacular. Everything about this is just kind of otherworldly beautiful. I mean, take a look at these mountains. I don't know if the camera is going to pick up the texture, but the strata on here, it, it looks like it could be a washboard for a giant or something. Like This is absolutely what mountains look like after they've been carved out by glaciers and, you know, windswept over tens of thousands of years. Um, something also really magical about this park for me so far has been it just kind of reminds me of some of my some other places that I've traveled to around this world um, you know ranging from the Swiss Alps to the Scottish Highlands to southern Chile so it's all just been very beautiful so far and this is only day one um, so like I mentioned we're doing triple divide trail and I'm going to turn it over to Ryan who will tell you a little bit about why this is so unique So, Triple Divide, we're here at Triple Divide Pass, uh, actually just below Triple Divide Peak. And Triple Divide Peak is really, uh, really cool, I think, because uh, it's one of the few places in the world where a drop of rainwater that falls up there can actually drain to three different watersheds. Uh, if the water goes in that direction, it drains uh, to the Gulf of Mexico. If it drains in that direction, it drains to Hudson Bay. And if it goes over the other side, it, it drains down to the Pacific. Um, so this is a, a pretty fun hike, uh, and um, like Christina mentioned, it's a little less than 15 miles total, uh, with um, I think about 2,500 feet of elevation gain. So it's pretty substantial, but there's actually not a single switchback on the hike. So it's it's a really gradual climb, and it's it's been really nice. Um, it's also you know as you can see, it's just spectacular, spectacularly beautiful. So it, that's pretty exciting too. Yeah, and something you can't see, unfortunately, but in the other side of that ridge down there is a beautiful alpine lake. And then off in the distance, kind of just below that white speck, that pile of snow, is another another alpine lake just kind it's of like cupped a up there. Lake. Yeah, so beautiful. Um, yeah. So, how about happy hour? Yeah, happy hour. It's time. Yeah, um, it's been about seven and a half miles up here. So, today we have huckleberry honey. Uh, from the Bitterroot Brewing Company out of Hamilton, Montana. It's a seasonal ale, uh, and uh, it says it's ale brewed with honey, Montana malted barley, and natural huckleberry flavor added. So let's see how it goes. Yeah, should be good. Huckleberry, we've noticed, is a pretty big, pretty big thing up here. Every gift shop and grocery store we've been to sells like huckleberry syrup and huckleberry wine, which we tasted, and it was absolutely delicious. So hopefully this beer follows soon. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, I like it. I like it too. Fruity without being overwhelming. Yeah. Got a little warm in the backpacks, unfortunately. Yeah, it would but be better served a little cold, but there's not much we could do about that. Yeah, again, can't complain because we're out Where here. we are drinking beer. Looking at this. So. All right. All right, well. Thanks for joining us on the second episode of Hikers Happy Hour, the series that pairs trails with local brews. Um, don't, and also don't forget to pack in, pack out, and recycle your cans and bottles. Cheers! <laughs>